Okay, here we are at a Pathfinder meeting on Saturday afternoon. It's very typical of a Pathfinder meeting. They also are using the signal for. I think they're trying to get there on. They got oh, three or four Sesame flags. They're practicing the signals. I'm just a leader right here. That's it. Any uh, seventh day of this book saying young person should know this group. It's very familiar to me. The whole thing, the way they run it. Well, we'll keep it on a little while. Uh, get the camera pictures. Yeah. Yeah. They use just a regular. Oh, they have about six or eight sets of these. Sigma flag. There's signs like this all around, all around here. Different ones. This is nothing but a Sabbath school room, which they use dual purpose for. They do it on Sabbath afternoon because some of these children come quite a ways away. And there's no reason to go home. You know what I mean? Transportation is not very. Really, how can I put it? Even I may live close, it's very slow. We put it that way. In the middle of the daytime. <laughs> you know how to do this? You have some, you have some extra ones for Tagalog number, for Tagalog uh, letters. That's about it. I think they have some extra, they use the alphabet just like the USA, except they have a couple of extra letters, they put that way, they have some extra letters with accent marks on them. They may have a complete different symbol for that compared to what I'm used to. I did this with my brother when I was very young. I remember some of the thing, he got this honor, Ernie did. And Pathfinders, I think it's called Signal Corps or something, something like that. And I memorized some of the letters, but not all of them. So he's just... He's going to be going to a Camp Reef somewhere along the line for the Philippines only. I don't think they're going to be outside the country because just the cost. They might go to other places in Asia, don't get me wrong. Use it to get to the United States is very difficult. Um, I hope you have a great Sabbath day. Goodbye for now.